Hey Gapsters, how are you Gapsters doing? Thank you so much for joining me on another video. We are on this pregnancy journey. <laughs> I can't believe it. So I had a, um, I when two weeks ago, I think I announced that we were pregnant. So two videos have gone out specifically like pregnancy videos and I'm like whew. and then like last week in the middle of the week I was like oh my god am I really sharing this you know because it's been such a long held secret but um, I'm like yeah I'm sharing it it's the joys <laughs> but yeah um thank you so much for joining me on another video um golden oldies hey how you doing <laughs> and all to my new subscribers thank you so much for joining the hey gapster family and to all the besties that have come here from olaf's channel thank you very much much appreciated we are now currently in this pregnancy video we're at the 12 week mark i am going in for my first anatomy scan as well as um, finding out the results from my chromosome testing to see if there was any like um, issues as well as finding out the gender of the baby mm -mm. there was a lot happening at this week at this doctor's visit so this is after so we're basically at the end of the first trimester and um, yeah it was it has been like like at this point i'm overjoyed because of all my pregnancies i've never gotten to the 12 week mark so i am like now like first hurdle jumped you know so yeah we're very happy and very excited and we're very ecstatic but um yeah that gender hey um <laughs> let me just say let me just preface this to say that um, not everybody was happy at the gender reveal and i'm going to talk about why not everybody was happy at the gender reveal but first we're going to start off with the clips from the day and how everything went and then i'm going to talk to you about gender disappointment good morning gusters how are you gusters doing so today is friday and um we are going to our second doctor's appointment and look mr man brought out a blazer he's dressing up to go meet his child it's so cute i love it <laughs> So, but tava with my nose. Um, tava with my nose. And that means it's about smart. Yeah, no, that's my head. That's for sure. And that's my nose. Balanced. We are a balanced family. <laughs> so, Gapsters, we just got back from. We had the sonogram. Um, we're gonna see the gynae later. We just went in for the sonogram. Like it's a big one where they look for like structural issues and things like that and we got to see everything for the first time like the hands, the feet, the legs, the little brain, the backbone, all of it we got to see it oh, I look a mess because things were flowing <laughs> but um basically we are very happy very happy campers is what we are Can you see? Mm. so these were the feet mm. and then um, these were the legs when they're stretching mm -hmm. pushing against like the tummy and then this is the bum mm. and then this is like the stomach on top and those are the legs This is an arm, like with the, you see here, mm -hmm. it's like on the thing, here, these are legs crossed in the air, also here these are legs crossed in the air, mm -hmm. so there you go, there's our little one, 
Can you guys see? <gasps> Can you believe that this is less than eight centimeters big? <laughs> I know it looks big, but this is the doctor said less than this like a bar of chocolate. No, no, no. That's the weight. Yeah, the weight is less than a bar of chocolate and about like seven centimeters. So tiny still for to have all of this. But we are very happy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. It is quite cute, yeah. It's like like this. And then okay. I think it was sponsored by baby oil by bio oil from bump to baby. Speaking of which person needs to start using something because you guys I was a little bit big. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me, it's your child in their forehead. I'm so happy. Oh. Literally made my mind. Okay. Okay, so mm, let me tell you guys why I wanted a boy. I'm the one that wasn't dis that wasn't happy at the scan when we found out the gender of the baby. Jimmy was ecstatic because that's what he wanted. He wanted a girl. I wanted a boy, and I was for a minute. Okay, for a minute, my heart was like. Mm. But my heart came back, as you guys saw, like by the time we were in the car and we're looking through the scans, I was already like, I don't, I was, I don't, I was already over it. But um, I initially wanted a boy um, for two reasons, for two reasons. But I think these are really important reasons. And I think that they speak to the society that we live in. So firstly, the first one is just nostalgia. I grew up with... Um, there's an older brother between my sister and I who passed away and um, she passed, he passed away 10 years ago actually, 10 years this year. So um, having grown up with an older brother, I really wanted to have a firstborn as a boy and then a second child as a girl. Um, and I wanted to have the last born be a girl. So that she could be spoiled and that we would be spoiling a girl and i also wanted the older sibling to be the protector of the youngest one and i wanted that protector to be male <laughs> i know it's like it speaks to patriarchy it speaks to all of those things but as somebody who grew up with um an older brother sibling i can't tell you how lovely that was i mean we fought like cats and dogs like we fought we fought hard my brother and i fought hard my brother and i it was like gloves off like we we fought hard right but we also loved fiercely and when things went wrong in my life and i could show up and he showed up in my life you know like and that feeling like i don't know how to explain it but maybe it's because i didn't grow up with a father so he filled in those shoes and our child is going to have a father me side eyeing that guy our child is going to have a father so i guess like the father is going to play that role but in my head it just like i just was like i want my baby daughter to have an older brother sibling to be that person that she can turn to when things go wrong in her life or she doesn't want to talk to us and those kinds of things that she could have like that sort of like presence i really wanted that and the second reason is because excuse me and the second reason i wanted a firstborn to be male is because i know how easy it is for us to fall into those gender roles and one of the things that easily happens when you have 
an older child but potentially female is that well i didn't want the female taking on that automatic older you're the nurturer you'll take care of your baby sibling role like and i think that that also happens somewhat automatically like because they are just the older child that it will happen automatically but i also think that when it's a girl child we tend to reinforce it a little bit more and i know that like i have biases and that there's a lot of me in as much as i try to be conscientious about what i say and what i do and i try to be fair and equal about sharing responsibilities between genders and those kinds of things i also know that there's a lot of things that happen unconsciously or subconsciously that you don't notice that could be reinforcing those gender roles and i wanted at least to have that automatic you are the older sibling therefore you must take care of your younger sibling just have that fall on a male child and not fall on a female child um and i also really yeah i didn't want that and i don't want that and now i have to work a little bit harder obviously not to have that happen in the household and also watch myself and make sure that i'm not reinforcing um really negatively impacting gender roles onto my child i'm not saying that i want them to discard their femininity no 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 that's got nothing to do with anything but i don't want to fall into the trap that because she's older she must be the nurturer and um start taking over those sort of like oh you are feminine you are the child of the womb you're the mother you're the carer you're the you know fine yeah but i don't want that for my child i wanted my girl child to be the last born and to be spoiled like all last borns i know this because i'm a last born <laughs> like there's just the 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 way in which you are born in a family does also determine how you are how you are taken care of and how you are treated within a family that counts whether we like it or not and so that's why i wanted it i just didn't want all that responsibility falling on my poor baby girl and i suppose also in the society that we live in i feel like a male protector is quite important and um girls are not safe out here in these streets so um like at school and those kinds of things because they potentially go to the same school you know already i'm planning on number two guys <laughs> already i'm planning on number two um um you know if they go to school there's someone there that you know can just watch over her who's male and who's older than her instead of her having to like navigate all of these things and do all of these first herself there can be someone else who's doing them for her and i know that like you know i should believe and trust in her but i just don't want life to be difficult for my children and i thought that 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 way by having them in that order it would be less difficult on everybody so yeah um but that does not mean that more than anything whether it's a boy child or a girl child um i wanted a healthy child and the fact that this is a girl child doesn't make me love them any less than i would have if they were um a boy child um i didn't i didn't want a boy child because i thought boys are better than girls no i did not that was not the intention i wanted a boy child to to save enza <laughs> I wanted to put the boy child to work, mama. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's basically what I wanted. But I suppose the thing is, is that we basically as parents need to create a safe environment and be super conscientious and be super conscientious of where our children are, but also be super vigilant about how we act around our children, what we say to our children and how that comes across and what that means and how it can be read and how it can be interpreted. And it's a lot to be like watching over but i think you know we're gonna try we're gonna do our best and hopefully raise positively um adding productive members of society and that's all that we can hope for but yes i'm very happy for health more than anything else that's all i pray for is a healthy child 
everything else is secondary everything else is a want it's not a need um yeah so um as you can see at the end of the clip by the time i start showing you the little scans i'm completely over the fact that it's not a boy child um i couldn't care less actually that it's not a boy child so um yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and my little rant my tiny 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 little rant and i'm going to see you gabsters in the next video bye gabsters